Hello. I'm Interweb Studios and today we ask Reddit what's the most passive aggressive food to bring to a potluck. Let me know what is your favorite food to bring to a potluck because when I go to potlucks I usually have no idea what to bring. With that, sit back and enjoy. For a Thanksgiving potluck my husband signed up for dressing, not realizing that's what some people call stuffing. Anyway he brought like four different kinds of salad dressing and I'm sure everyone thought he was the worst. Who in the loving duck calls stuffing dressing? The stuff that goes in the turkey is stuffing. The stuff cooked in a casserole is dressing. Edit to add we do both. A sourdough stuffing with the giblets in the turkey and a cornbread dressing with sausage in a casserole. Personally, I had no idea this is what dressing meant and I still have no clue why stuffing is called dressing. Alright back to the video. LMFAO. I love ruined holiday stories this probably pissed tons of people off. My family jokes about how my cousin is never allowed to cook dumplings at family holidays after the year she burned them. That was at least 10 years ago and she still gets crap for it. Oh don't even get me started. I'm a professional chef. When I was like 25 I did Christmas dinner, and the turkey came out kinda dry. My bad, nobody is perfect. Would have been fine if everyone would have just stayed the duck out of my way but no everyone had to go and duck with my oven settings and now the turkey is dry well i've done other dinners since then pretty much every holiday i do 99 percent of the cooking for obvious reasons but every ducking year i have to listen to literally hours of weeing told how i ruined christmas that one year Mind you this is about 15 years ago and I can't cook without professional equipment and other cooks to help me and I can't be left alone because I'll ruin everything again. Every year. Needless to say it's been a few years since I've been home for the holidays. Paper napkins from Taco Bell. Can confirm. Friend of mine gave me a whole pack of them once when he worked there. The shock on everyone's face was priceless. I did my summer internship in college at a company that packaged various products for other companies. One of them was Burger King napkins. We could take damaged packages home. I had cases and cases of Burger King napkins at our college house hall. I have a confession. I had a county worker who by her own admission did not have any food allergies, but had a strong dislike for certain random food items. Just to clarify, this was not related to smell or texture. She was also one of those individuals who thought people should not be allowed to like things she didn't like. I had been warned by my other co-workers, but I didn't quite grasp the situation. Right after I'd started working there, she decreed that we should have a potluck and that this potluck should involve a certain main dish minus one particular ingredient that she didn't like. Think along the lines of wanting a salad but insisting that no black olives be included. Several people remarked, mildly, that they liked black olives. Well, maybe they did, but she didn't. So there. I volunteered to bring black olives on the side. This did not please her. I knew this did not please her, and, like I said, I'd been warned. I brought black olives anyway. Some people ate them. I did not, because I did not end up eating at all, because she bitched so much about that side dish of black olives grossing her out by merely existing. And frankly I was so pissed off that she was allowed to behave that way. Especially towards a new employee that I just gave up on trying to eat. But I did not forget. And from that point on, every potluck I would make it a point to bring something that everybody, including her, loved say, cheesecake but it would always unnecessarily incorporate one of her unfavorites. Oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot you don't like strawberries. You know what, bitch? I actually kept a list of what you didn't like. Thought for certain you were gonna engineer olive cheesecake, which would be terrible, and you'd be a terrible. But awesome person if you did that. Haha <laughs> love this. It reminds me of something my mother did. My grandfather always said he hated garlic and wouldn't let my grandmother cook with it. So, one year for Christmas my mother, his daughter-in-law made garlic prawns for the table. He loved them. And requested them for his birthday every year. No one ever told him they were coated in garlic-infused creamy sauce. Silly old bugger spent his whole life thinking he hated garlic and turns out it was his favorite's food. So my ex-husband's family was the absolute worst. They hated anyone and everyone who wasn't literal blood family. Like boyfriends and girlfriends were instantly disliked unless they were wealthy, you were only tolerated once you married into the family. 
These pathetic excuses for human beings had a ducking feast for every occasion and it was in a potluck fashion. I remember the first dinner was for Easter. I was not told to bring something because I was the much hated new girlfriend at the time. But I didn't want to be rude so I brought a side dish. I'm a good cook, I practice a lot and genuinely enjoy cooking and baking. Well they loved what I brought. After that for every stupid pointless feast they would ask me to bring two to three dishes. But outside of these meals they treated me like ass. So, I did, I cooked three side items every time. Two were fabulous but the third was just ducking terrible. But I made sure it looked good, pretty ya no appetizing. And then, since it was such a huge feast you couldn't really tell who brought what unless it was announced. So I'd set down my two good dishes and loudly exclaim, this is what I brought. Then sneak in the silent assassin dish and watch as chaos unfolded. Slowly but surely at every potluck you'd see the family being extremely hesitant as they were choosing their foods, trying to find my dish of horror. That's the only thing I miss about being married into that family, was the terror on their faces at potlucks. Store-bought cookies with the reduced per-day-old sticker visible. Already opened. Source of former employee. We went to a Thanksgiving dinner where everyone was supposed to bring something. The guy who was supposed to bring mashed potatoes walked in with a bag of spuds. Not cooked or anything. Just raw. 20 minutes before dinner. We pretty sure that's classified as assault in some states. Had a friend show up to a lobster boil. BYOB with four uninvited guests and three pieces of corn. So that. I once had a friend who volunteered to bring meat show up to a potluck barbecue with two steaks, for her and her husband, and an eight-pack of hot dogs for the other 20-ish guests. Empty Tupperware containers to take home the leftovers. Z-O-M-G. I used to work at a place where our department had to make sure other departments didn't know about our potlucks, because there was a woman who would do exactly this. People did this at my work's potlucks. The one girl had a big container of food in the fridge she planned to take home including a huge chunk of a cake someone brought. I guess someone else got mad about it and took all the cake out of her container. Exactly whatever the host, hostess plans to make for their signature dish. Especially if you make it better. Exactly what I was typing. My mom and aunt hate each other and each year for holidays it's a battle of potato salad whoever potato salad you eat the other gives side eye all day. You should take an equal amount of each and then mix them together while making eye contact. And loudly announce, I find both these potato salads lacking. But since they're each lacking something different, they are best when mixed. Or say they both taste the same and ask if they bought them from the same supermarket. I did this once, though it was more of an informal contest with a chef friend of mine. He was making stuffed mushrooms for a New Year's get-together and someone mentioned they thought mine were awesome. My secret ingredient was stovetop stuffing, which apparently was offensive to his culinary expertise so we both made stuffed mushrooms to see which his guests preferred. There was no real, scientific way to tell, but my batch was gone before his nuff said. Your entire family and no food. And a bag with empty Tupperware containers. I did not make that up, I've seen it happen. Ice. That what you assign people that cook shit food. Or if you can really cook such as myself and some people assume that you will cook every potluck, instead of asking, you volunteer for ice. Some people are just very rude. I went to culinary school and had my own catering co many moons ago. I love to cook but I don't even cook for myself every day. My family, not immediate but fairly close cousin had a potluck at a cousin's house. I got an email a week before with a list of food they wanted me to make. I sent an email back saying I had to travel for work, which I did and I would just bring ice. A jar of mayonnaise. No. A jar of Miracle Whip. That'll piss off more people. Potato salad with raisins. That is just ducking vile. Who likes raisins in their potato salad? I'm generally curious who likes this combination because I probably would throw up after eating this. Alright enough of me, back to potluck foods. A bowl of pre-mixed M and, Miz and Skittles. With Reese's Pieces, I hope. In Minnesota definitely green bean casserole, but with fresh green beans and no fried onions on top. Those church ladies would passive-aggressive you to death with a thousand little cuts over several years until you stopped going to potlucks. 
Some fellow Minnesotans and I were recently discussing the crime that was a tater tot hot dish where the tots were placed haphazardly on top rather than being arranged in perfect rows. The horror. Not that we'd refuse you entry, of course. We'd be very nice about it and then talk about you behind your back in true Minnesotan fashion. Alrighty, time for the lightning round. Here we go. An empty pizza box set out on the table so everyone opens it as they go through the line. Donut box full of salad? Tums. Target the person that cares about that shit the most and then bring the exact same dish just with one extra key ingredient. Dip with no chips. Well someone in my grandma's garden club brought eight deviled eggs to a potluck and my grandma started calling her four eggs behind her back. So probably that. Your recipe for potato salad with the title, better potato salad. Sauce packets from various restaurants. A jumbo-sized bowl of unlabeled Haribo sugar-free gummy bears with little solo cups to take home samples. One up whatever the host is making. Burgers? Bring smoked barbecue pork. Chicken wings? Bring a Thanksgiving turkey. Whatever it is, bring enough for everyone. Curse them with their own leftovers. They will have to literally eat their inadequacy for a week. A single roll of paper towels. A small, opened box of plastic utensils with mostly knives remaining. A handful of cheap paper plates. A handful of Ziploc bags. I like to bring my mum's signature dishes to dinner at my dad and his new wife's place. One can of spam, missing the key that opens it. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite food to bring to a potluck. Until next time.